Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am filming a get ready with me and I shopped my stash, pulled some things that I haven't used for a while. So I hope that you guys do enjoy this. So if you'd like to see how to do this look and I bust out this palette and use this today. So I think I'm gonna use this palette today, just like a throwback tutorial. And I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. So I'm just gonna use my Biore. I ordered some more of my First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer last night at the Sephora via B Rouge sale. So I ordered it online with my mom. Like we placed a big online order. I really didn't get too much stuff. At least I don't feel like I did makeup wise. But if you guys want to see a haul on the stuff that I picked up, whenever it comes in, let me know down in the comments and I will fil film <laughs> that video. I didn't get too much stuff, but I got a few things. I'm going to moisturize my face with my Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Hydrating Primer since I don't have my moisturizer right now. And since I was doing like a nothing new tutorial, I was debating on what foundation I want to wear today. I might use like the Flower Beauty Light Illusion, Light Illusion, or maybe my L'Oreal um, Pro Glow, Infallible Pro Glow, because it's been a hot minute since I've worn either one of those foundations. I am just gonna do my eyeshadow first because I think this palette does have a little bit of fallout from what I remember. Not like a lot, but some of the darker shades um, have some fallout. So I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with my Catrice eyeshadow base. I might actually use the little brush that comes with this palette just because a lot of my blending brushes are dirty. Um, so I'm going to use the shade Naked and I'm just going to blend that in my crease first. I'm gonna take a little bit of Virgin and I'm just gonna use that as my brow bone highlight. I'm gonna grab some of Sin. I'm just gonna pat that color all over my eyelid. Now I'm gonna grab some of Buck and I'm just gonna blend that color more here in the outer V and kind of define the crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back with some more Naked and blend that out. I'm just going back with some more Naked, blending that out. And I think I decided I want to put a little bit of Dark Horse in the outer corner, so I'm just going to grab some of that. And I'm just going to pat that out here. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of Smog and Kind of blend that in between Dark Horse and Sin. And I'm going back with a little bit more Buck. Okay, I'm not for sure if I'm into this eye look today. I don't know if it's a complete mess or not. Um, I feel like my old palette, I like the quality of the eyeshadows better. I'll have to go back and use that one and feel if, and see if it's any different or if I've just like forgotten <laughs> the quality of the palette, you know? So I'm just gonna clean up with a makeup remover wipe because I did kind of get some fallout once I started using the darker colors. And I think I decided I'm gonna zoom back out and then we'll come back to the eyes here in a minute, but 
I think I decided that I want to use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion today for my foundation. And then I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild makeup sponge to blend that out. <laughs> Car is so loud. So Josh and I, we're going to be heading out here in a minute to go get some lunch. So that's why I thought I'd just sit down and film like a get ready with me, which I was kind of hoping this would be a fast get ready with me, but I feel like this is taking me a minute. But we're going to go and get like some brick oven pizza at this place that we've never really been to before. So hopefully I like it. <laughs> Um, I might try to get the gluten-free pizza because I've been trying to go back to being more gluten-free or to be like 100% gluten-free if I can do that. I know like a couple of years ago I used to just be gluten-free and I used to not eat gluten and my stomach just feels so much better without it. So I just decided I'm going to try my best to cut it out and we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> So I just know that for me, it's like my stomach is a little bit sensitive for, to gluten. Like I have a little bit of a gluten sensitivity. And I'm going to use my LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's been a minute since I've used this as well. So It's kind of weird for me to be wearing like a super glowy foundation because I've been so used to wearing more like not really true matte foundations, but it's like my Believe Beauty is more of like, I don't know, just like a skin finish. So it is more matte. So it is a little like strange to see me with like a dewy foundation on. It's like, I don't know if I'm 100% into my makeup today just cause I've been using like the same products all the time. And it's weird to like see yourself in something different. And I mean, I do like the Flower Beauty foundation. It's just, it's different to see me in such a luminous foundation. And then I'm just gonna kind of conceal a few areas that I want like a little bit more concealer and to lighten. And then I'm just gonna set my foundation with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. For my under eye concealer, I'm just going to use my Becca under eye brightening powder. I'm sorry, I don't really feel like super chatty today. I thought about filming like a voiceover just because I knew I didn't feel like super talkative. So hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm not super chatty today. And then I'm just going to comb through my brows. And then I'm just going to use some of my Benefit Gimme Brow. Just to set my brows in place and to fill them in just a little bit. Okay, I want to warm up my crease just a little bit because I just feel like it needs some warmth. It just is so cool toned. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the bronzer I'm going to use today. And I'm just using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and bronze. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild Pac-Man um, blush, no powder brush. I always want to call it a blush brush, but it's powder brush. Just love the way this stuff smells. It's been a minute since I've used that bronzer. Yeah, today is kind of just like one of those days where I'm just like not really into my makeup. Maybe it'll come together at the end.
I'm just gonna bronze over here. And then I'm just gonna bronze my jawline and my neck. Okay, I feel like things look a little bit better now that I like bronzed. And for my blush, I'm gonna do a pink blush to kind of help bring some like warmth to my face. And I'm trying to decide what blush I wanna use. I think I'm gonna use my Milani Delizioso pink. Which this is just like a bright bubblegum pink. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild angled blush brush to apply this blush. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with precisely my brow from Benefit now that my brows are dry, my brow gel. Cause I kinda wanna fill in a few little like sparse areas. For my highlight, I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow, cause I think it'll go really well with that color Sin that's on my eyelids. It's kinda like that same pink color. And I'm just blending that on my cheekbones with my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And then we're gonna zoom in and finish off the eyes and then I'll come back and figure out what lipstick I am wearing. So, zoom back in. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of Naked on my lower lash line. And I'm sorry my fingernails look like absolute crap. Um, I've been needing to go back and get these nails taken off or like get them taken off and new ones put on but I just haven't went and done anything about it yet, so. It looks like I have pink tips. <laughs> and I'm just using my e.l.f. like pencil brush to smudge that color on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of dark horse on that same brush and also smudge that right out here. Okay, and I need to seriously go out and purchase another one of these Physicians Formula eyeliners because this one is getting, it's about to run out. So, but I'm gonna try to use this and do some liner. And I'm just going to curl up my lashes and apply some mascara. And I'm just going to be using the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. And I totally forgot to do this before I did my mascara, but I'm going to go ahead and mist my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. For my lips, I'm just gonna line them with my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Innocent. And then for my lipstick, I'm gonna use um, my L'Oreal Ferris Nude Lipstick. I was kinda iffy on this look. I feel like it came together at the end. I think it's just been a while since I've used cool toned eyeshadows. At least this was more cool toned than a lot of my other palettes that I have in my collection. And it's so weird like how you remember things differently. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications so you will know as soon as I post a new video. I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.